Hello YouTube and welcome to my first video on how to download and configure and install D2NT, the uh, bot that you can use for a variety of different things. This is going to be a pretty in-depth guide as far as character customization goes, but it's going to be a little bit lacking as far as item customization goes, so just bear with me on this one. I'll hopefully get a video up soon on how to really choose what you want your bot to pick up and what you don't want it to pick up and what you want it to sell but just like I said bear with me on this one this uh, the setup that I'm gonna give you is it's pretty good so here goes the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and download the bot just like I've shown here. The link to this is in the, uh, the description of the video. Go ahead and save the file. It shouldn't take too long to download. Once that's done, open it up and extract all files. You're going to want to navigate to the folder that I've shown in the video and change the name of the file that I have indicated there to your character's name as it appears on battle.net and this is case sensitive remember so you have to make it exactly how it appears don't forget the underscore either this guide is more for the paladins out there the hammeredins your typical mf hammerdin that you see all the time so uh you sorceress lovers just please bear with me eventually i uh, will get a video up on how to do sorceresses but the, uh, the paladins are really my priority right now, but maybe based on what you learn in this video can help you basically figure it out on your own. Maybe you can uh, go and configure your sorceress by yourself. Okay, so you're in uh, NT config underscore paladin underscore your character's name. Um, what you're going to see here is probably going to be pretty confusing to you at first, but uh, after a little while you'll be able to do this stuff by yourself. Um, just just uh, right at the beginning there you'll see boss configuration and a bunch of nonsense with some Diablo related terms in there. What these are are basically like shortcuts to these other files that you can also edit, but I'll get to that. There are uh, there are shortcuts to files that your paladin will use to uh, to run these uh, to bot these games, and uh, what you want to do is add the two slashes that you're going to see a lot of to anything that you don't want to run. Remember, the two slashes mean you don't want it, and remove the two slashes from anything that you do want to run. Um, also, true and false, there's little extensions on there you'll notice. Say you want to run Eldritch and Shank, the Overseer, just go to the end there and change that from false to true and your bot will run Shank as well. Next I have these labeled 1, 2, and 3. 1 is the, uh, the, the number just next to it. The, uh, the, I think it's a 2000 on here, is the number of milliseconds that your character will wait doing nothing after you create a game. Number two is area delay. Any time that you change areas, whether it be going through a town portal or going up or down stairs, um, he, he will also wait. So I would set that to one second just to be safe. And the last one is how long he'll wait after clearing an area before picking up items. I would set that to somewhere between 50 to 500 milliseconds. This next section is very self-explanatory. Just please save me the trouble and read it for yourself and try and figure it out before commenting on this video or sending me a private message. It's really, really simple. A lot of people have tried bots before and ran into the problem where their bot will end up 
selling all of their items or dropping them on the ground, and it's really related to these values that are shown on the screen here. The two that's got a bunch of arrows pointing to it is the number of free columns that your character will try to maintain at all times, meaning if he does not have eight squares of free space available that he could put a Herald of Zacharum into or some other 2 by 8 item if he doesn't have the ability to do that then he'll go to town and sell or, or identify and sell or identify and stash items until he has those 8 free blocks so please set this to 2 any higher or lower and you, he'll start messing with your stuff the zero and ones, no, that's not binary code. Um, just read the sentence next to it. They do a pretty damn good job of explaining it. Again, a very good uh, job of explaining. Just read this paragraph. They explain it very well. This next section, I'm going to make a whole different video about, but all you're basically going to want to do is put slashes in front of all of those things that I put X's through. All of the things that either say extreme or or uh, advanced or whatever in them. And don't put slashes in front of the things that say normal. If, you, if you're kind of rich, you might uh, think about putting slashes in front of the, the set piece right there. The little one that I have slashes through just because... Um, when you're MFing hell, set items really aren't even worth it to you for the most part. So just um, use your judgment and do what you think you need to do. Basically what these are are huge preset lists of requirements for items um, that basically determine whether or not your MFer or your bot is going to keep them. And normal is really the best setting. I've tried other ones and he'll end up selling like really valuable things so just just don't even go there just please trust me and, and go with normal for the for this one and lastly the little circled number there is your picket radius it's basically just how far away he'll go to get an item I would set it to no more than 50 just to be safe now you're going to want to scroll all the way to the bottom because the rest of that is just cubing and gambling and it's it's just going to confuse you or or screw you up so just don't mess with that at least for now. And uh, when you get to the bottom there you're going to see a few things that I've highlighted. All you're really going to want to do is change them to what I have them changed to just for practical purposes. The only thing that you really need your judgment for is the uh, the declone option. Really only set that to true if you have an, something that can defeat Tristram, whether it be an uber smiter or, or some kind of barbarian or a uh, summoning necro. Definitely put slashes through those little pieces that I have a box around, or slashes before rather. You're gonna get nothing from them but trouble and uh, play with the redemption as you see fit and that's about it for setup save and exit next open up d2nt manager it should bring up that little window and you're gonna wanna hit add as shown this part's really self-explanatory just fill it out as it asks you to and hit OK and the last step here is clicking save and then hitting run and it should run your bot um, I think it'll ask you for your password just punch it in and your bot will start running remember using this could possibly get you banned and that's not my fault I take no responsibility for that use it at your own risk and for your own benefit thank you and have a good day